Alicia. So today I'm going to show you how I am going to make this gorgeous garland for your fireplace. I'm making it for my friend. So I started it off, but obviously I cannot hang all the ornaments on it because I need to really have it in place on a mantle to see how it looks and uh, where everything should go. So I will show you how I got to this point and then I will show you a finished project. So what you will need is a garland obviously. It doesn't have to be very thick because we are going to decorate it and make it much thicker. This is 9 foot which is 2.7 meters I think. The next thing you need to do is find the middle and I already done that so I marked it here <clears throat> because I will want to do a bow or something like that in the middle. Then you will need some lights, obviously, unless you've got pre-lit um, garland. So I've got some lights, I've got some deco mesh, I've got some ribbon, I've got tools, I have um, florist wires to attach things with, and bubbles and different picks. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it as I go along. But what you want to do first is to fluff up your garland. So you just have to go around and pull all the branches, spread them out so you can see what you are working with. And after that, I'll put the lights on. Remember, if your lights are mains operated, then remember which side you're plugging so you know where the plug should be and if they're battery operated then you don't have to worry about that okay so my lights are done i think it looks beautiful straight away lights are everything i'm going now to attach the deco mesh so i'm going to find the end one end of my garland i'm going to leave quite a big tail and I'm going to gather this deco mesh like this. I'm going to attach it with the branches. So I'm going to grab it here and I'm going to twist them around the deco mesh. I need to find my middle. Oh, it's here. So I can see that my balloons are pretty even. I think I will make them about that big. So that's my second balloon. Okay. And you are basically going to do that right to the the other end. And the last one somewhere near the middle doesn't have to be right in the middle because remember we're going to attach some sort of uh, bow in the middle. Okay, that looks pretty on its own. You could even leave it like this. But you know me, more is more. actually going to cut this bit in the middle, leave some room because I might incorporate that in the bowl that I'm going to put in the middle. And 
and then I go to the other end and do the same. Okay, now I've got this lovely bow that I want to attach somewhere here in the middle and I thought I incorporate that but obviously I will have to do all that so push all the branches away okay so there is my central bow I will attach this somehow here so that will be like a back to it okay now I've got this ribbon which is um, very uh, stiff wired um, what is it like a natural hessian very similar to that so I'm going to interwind that So it sort of ties in with the bow. I think that will look very pretty. And I'm going sort of in a zigzag way, back to front and front to back. to do the same on the other side okay so I probably will stick uh, stick these in the middle here as well so as you can see it looks beautiful already now and you could leave it like this but obviously my friend wants me to decorate it with some baubles but I can't really be doing that on a table as I have to transport it somehow um, I might try to wire some on but the rest I will have to do on site so I will just show you uh, the finished article already on the fireplace. Mm -hmm. 